Philippians chapter number 2. Philippians chapter number 2. Let us study this uh, man of God. Philippians chapter 2. Verse number 19. Philippians 2 verse number 19. If you're there, say Amen. amen. Let us read. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly unto you, that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. For all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ's. But ye know the proof of him that, as a son with a father, he had served with me in the gospel. Him therefore I hope to send presently, so soon as I shall see how it will go with me. But I trust in the Lord that I also myself shall come shortly. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother and companion in labor, and fellow soldier, but your messenger, he that ministered to my wants. For he longed after you all, and was full of heaviness, because that he had heard that he had been sick. For indeed he was sick, nigh unto death. But God had mercy on him, and not on him only, but on me also, lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. I send him therefore the more carefully, that when ye see him again, he may rejoice, and that I may be the less sorrowful. Receive him therefore in the Lord with all gladness, and hold such in reputation. Because for the work of Christ he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life, to supply your lack of service toward me. So you can now sit down. I shared this a message uh, so many years ago concerning Timothy and Epaphroditus. And in this certain passage, as we study, we can learn that in our churches, God has left some men in the Bible who could be our example. First of all, in chapter 2, you find that the sole example of Christians, or the very examples that we should imitate, is the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you with me? The Bible tells us in Philippians chapter 2, starting on verse 5, Let this mind be in you, which was also... In Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, uh, starting on verse number one, even the reason of this letter was Paul encouraging the believers uh, to unite together. Are you with me? Hello. Amen. Look at verse one. If there be therefore any consolation in Christ, if any comfort of love, if any fellowship of the Spirit, if any bowels and mercies, fulfill ye my joy that ye be like-minded. The Apostle Paul wanted God's people to be like-minded. Are you with me? Huh? Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory, but in loneliness of mind let each esteem other better than themselves. So the, the Apostle's purpose, in, one of his purposes in writing this letter is to teach Christians in Philippi to be united in God. To be like-minded, to have unity in the spirit, in service. Ayaw niya nang may nag-aaway-away. Let nothing be done through strife or vain glory. He, he wants the people of God to be taken away from selfishness. And verse 4, he says, Look not every man on his own things, but every man also on the things of others. The Apostle, God, through the Apostle, wanted God's people not to be selfish alone, but to think of other people as well. And how to do it? He said, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. The Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ, should be our example for unity. The humility that Christ had, the concern that Christ had for His people, for God's people, is our example. But praise God, after those verses concerning Christ, ang Panginoon nagbigay siya ng certain people. The Apostle named certain people 
na pwede rin muna natin makita na halimbawa. Okay? And it's Timotheus and Epaphroditus. Timothy was a young man that has been saved. Uh, uh, in the book of Acts, you can find him there. His name means honoring God. Epaphroditus is a servant of the people of Philippi and his name means lovely. Makikita po natin that these two men of God have different ministries in the time of the Apostle Paul. They were assisting the Apostle Paul. But uh, one thing is sure, these both have been a blessing to the Apostle. Not just to the Apostle, but to the people. Amen? Naging pagpapana din po sila, hindi lang po sa Panginoon, hindi lang po sa Apostol Pablo, kundi po sa church. Hello? Isn't it amazing that when these names are mentioned, you think of goodness, blessing, and encouragement. And so sana, as Christians, you have to think about that. Lord, when my name is mentioned in the church, am I the one bearing the burdens with our preachers? Am I the one who is the burden? Am I the one who is the burden bearer? Am I the one who is being helped? Or am I the one who is helping? And so we find examples of people that are of help. Not just to the church, but to the Apostle Paul. We can follow them. They are certain good examples of the New Testament. They are an encouragement. They are an example. And so let's study the verses concerning these men in Philippians chapter 2. The first thing that you find here is selflessness. Tingnan po natin. Philippians chapter 2 verse number 19. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly unto you that I also may be of good comfort when I know your state. For I have, look at that, verse 19. For I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. Look at this tragic problem of Christianity ever since. Not just Christianity, but of man. Verse 21. For all seek their own. You see? So if you want to be an encouragement, if you want to be, if you want, if there is somebody that we should be, you know, uh, trying to imitate is Christ. And so we find Christ-likeness in these men. And what can we see in their lives as evidence of Christ-likeness is their selflessness. Generally and naturally, men are selfish. We have different things, personal things in our life. Meron kang sariling mga problema sa buhay, sariling mga bayarin, sariling mga isipin. But praise God for people like Timothy that we can, uh, pwede natin gayahin. Ano yung ibig sabihin nito? Sabi niya ganun, who will naturally care for your state, for all seek their own, not the things which are Jesus Christ. Our church needs people that will be concerned with the things of Jesus Christ. The sending, ito pong ginagawa ko nila, hindi hubiro. Kasi, they, for the work of Christ, they have to travel for, for one place to another. Wala pa kasi si Buana padala noon eh. Okay? Para pag may magpapadala, kailangan may mauutusan. Okay? Kailangan, hindi naman lang marunong biyumahe. So, makikita po natin, pero may mga ready tao na handang mautusan pa, kahit malayo, para pumunta doon sa isang lugar, may mga sarili rin naman mga ginagawa yan, but praise God, they think about the work of Christ. In the lives of Timothy and Epaphroditus, we can find a good example of selflessness and care for the work of Christ. On the other hand, not just Timothy, but Epaphroditus, if we can find here, verse number verse number 27, ready to read. For indeed, he was sick nigh unto death. But God had mercy on him, and not only him, but on me also, 
lest I should have sorrow upon sorrow. Verse number 13. Because for the work of Christ, he was nigh unto death, not regarding his life to supply your lack of service toward me. The care for God's work. Makikita po natin dito na they have their own agendas, they have their own lives, but never did they spend their lives for selfish things alone. They think about the church. They think about the work of God. Brethren, how about us? Do we have that mind like Timothy and Epaphroditus? When we go back home, pagkatapos ulit yung service, Christianity today is filled with selfish people. People that would just go to church and then after church, Monday to Saturdays, it's all for themselves. We need men of God, we need people of God that would think about God's work on Monday, on Tuesday, on Wednesday, when you're at work, when you're at your school. Do you think about your church? Do you think about the things of God? Do you think about the work of God? Do you think about the people of God? For these people, they care for the church. Do you care for your church? Do you pray for your church? Do you, do you think of Allah comes in the way your church? Because with, with these examples, we can help one another. Paul, when writing this epistle, he was in prison cell at Rome. Are you with me? Uh, he was in prison cell at Rome, but you can find the word comfort, you will find the word gladness, you will find... There are positive things even inside prison cell because there are people of God who like Timotheus and Epaphroditus cares. Are you with me? Meron silang pakiinam. May iniisip po nila. Sana kayo naiisip nyo rin. Naiisip nyo ba yung mga pangangailangan ng ating gawain. Naiisip nyo ba yung mga... Sometimes you have to think even about the workers. You have to think about the ministry. You have to think about the souls of men. You have to think about your preacher. Pag-pray nyo rin kami. Okay? How many preachers do we have here? You can pray for them. They have their own problems in life. They, have their, they, 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 are, they are thinking about many things. Do you think about God's people? Do you pray for one another? Do you care like Timothy and Epaphroditus for all see their own? Hello? The general Christianity is selfish. And what will make a difference in churches is when God's people will not be selfish. When God's people start to think about others. Not just themselves, but other people, other members, their pastor, their preachers, their workers, their ministries. Selflessness was a big help and a blessing to all. Not just to the Apostle Paul, but to the church. Alam nyo, pag napuno ang church natin ng mga tao, hindi selfish. Yung naiisip mo, church mo, na yung pre pray mo. Naiisip po yung ibang mga may pangangailangan. Magkakaroon po tayo ng tinatawag na a easier ministry. Mas gagaan pag meron kang kasama. Amen? Hello? Not just that, but you can find also that hindi lang po selflessness and care ang makikita po dito, but servant-hearted and Christ-like this men. Tingnan niyo po, Christ-like men. Tingnan niyo po. Verse number uh, Verse number 25. Verse number 25. Are you there? Yeah. Ang sabi ng Bible, yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus my brother and companion in labor and fellow soldier, but your messenger. Epaphroditus was a man willing to serve. Amen? And what our churches need are Epaphroditus, people who are servant-hearted. 
Hello, Christianity today as what the word means, Christianity. Kasi lahat ngayon, marami ng Christian eh. I was browsing on Facebook yesterday just to find a sound preaching. Kasi wala akong load eh. Yung Facebook ko lang ang medyo pwede pag wala kang load ng data eh. I'm trying to find good old preaching. But the majority of preachings there are contemporary churches, liberal churches, and no matter how passionate the preacher was, no matter how uh, uh, good the words that are spoken, majority of these churches are 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 filled with members that are boss. Mga boss, are you with me? Hello? Hindi mo mauutusan. Hindi mo masasabihan. Mga kapatid, Biblical Christianity must be filled with members that are like their great pastor. I'm not the great pastor. The great bishop of souls is the Lord Jesus Christ. And He is a servant. Are you with me? And so if the Lord of this church is a servant, if the master and founder of this church is a servant, there is no way members should be high-minded. Uh -huh. The members of the church of the Lord Jesus Christ must be like their master. Servant-hearted. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10. Mark chapter 10 verse 35. If you're there, say Amen. Ready, go. And James and John, the sons of Zebedee, come unto him, saying, Master, we would that thou shouldest do for us whatsoever we shall desire. Okay, yung gusto rin, ano? Lord, gusto sana namin, ibibigay mo yung gusto namin. <laughs> Sa Tagalog pa, ambisyoso. Verse 36. And he said unto them, what would ye that I should do for you? Verse 37. They said unto him, Grant unto us that we may sit one on thy right hand and the other on thy left hand in thy glory. Verse 38. But Jesus said unto them, Ye know not what ye ask. Can ye drink of the cup that I drink of? and be baptized with the baptism that I am baptized with? And they said unto him, We can. And Jesus said unto them, Ye shall indeed drink of the cup that I drink of, and with the baptism that I am baptized with, all shall ye be baptized. But to sit on my right hand and on my left hand is not mine to give, but it shall be given to them for whom it is prepared. And when the third ten heard it, they began to be much displeased with... James and John, here comes the Savior rebuking all of them. But Jesus called them to him and saith unto them, Are you there? Can you read with me? You know that they which are accounted to rule over the Gentiles exercise lordship over them, and their great ones exercise authority upon them. But so shall it not be among you. Not in my church, I said. The normal thing in people when they are in their secular job or in their school, people strive for greatness. People want to be on top. People want to be great. Why? Because they think that when you're on top, you'll be the boss. But the Bible tells us, the Lord said, it's not in my house. Not in my ministry. The ministry of the Savior must be filled with servant-hearted people. Verse number 44. And whosoever of you will be the chiefest shall be servant of all. For even the Son of Man came not to be ministered unto, but to minister and to give His life a ransom for many. The more you go on top, the more you need, the more you be selfless and think about others. Uh -huh. Our churches should be ran by people that are Christ-like. Mm -hmm. Epaphroditus was called an apostolon. 
to the people of Philippi and not just for them but to the Apostle Paul. That Greek word means messenger. Putusan. Are you with me? Servant. Hello Christians? Think about that. Are you willing to serve? The church is a people of God that are willing to serve. To serve the Lord, to serve God's people, to serve the ministry, to serve the Master. Let us go back to Philippians chapter number chapter 2. Philippians chapter 2. Okay? Look at the words there. Verse 25. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus. Look, Epaphroditus was just sent by Philippi to give the blessing to the Apostle Paul. If you would read chapter 4, you find Paul telling them, Oh, natanggap ko na yung pinadala niyo kay Epaphroditus. Tignan niyo, chapter 4. Philippians chapter 4. Verse number 18. Niyo po. Ready, read. But I have all and abound, I am full. Having received of Epaphroditus the things which were sent from you. So, nakita niyo, si Epaphroditus, kagagaling lang ng Philippi, yung nagdala ng love gift nila kay Apostle Paul. Pagkatapos, pagkatapos, no, tutusan na naman yung si Pablo. Babalik na naman siya doon. Pabalikin na naman siya, utusan ulit siya. So, you, you find these people of God willing to serve. Amen? Amen. Are you willing to serve? Amen. Amen. Marami po tayong magagawa sa ministry. Kailangan lang po talaga natin ng servant-hearted people. God's people that are willing to serve and be like Christ. So, if you want to be famous, the ministry is not the place. The ministry is a place of people that are willing to serve. People that are willing to be like their master, servant of all. Amen? So, ano yung makikita natin example kay Timothy at Epaphroditus? Number one, selflessness and care. Selflessness and care. Next is servant-hearted and Christ-like men. Servant-hearted and Christ-like men. Men, last you find them as supporters and comforters. Tignan niyo po. Verse number, verse 25, ready go. Yet I suppose it necessary to send to you Epaphroditus, my brother, and companion in labor. You see that? He is a co-laborer of the Apostle Paul and fellow soldier and fellow soldier but your servant and he that ministered to my one verse 26 for he longed after you all and was full of heaviness because that he had heard that he had been sick verse number 27 for indeed he was sick I had to death but God had mercy on him and not on him only but on me also lest I should have Sorrow upon sorrow. Look at that. If something happens to Epaphroditus, it would give so much sorrow to the Apostle Paul. Why? Because he was a comfort for the preacher. Tignan po natin sa kay Timothy naman, verse number uh, 19. But I trust in the Lord Jesus to send Timothy shortly unto you, that I also may be of good comfort. When I know your state, for I have no man like-minded who will naturally care for your state. So you find these two men a support for the Apostle Paul. Amen? Amen. Hello? Are you willing to be like these men? A church member ought to imitate, a church member ought to, to make these men as examples. What? People of God that are willing to support. There is even not, not just men, but there are even ladies in the Bible. You find on the book of Romans, verse 1 of chapter 16 of Romans. Tignan niyo po. Hindi lang po lalaki ang pwedeng maging supporter. Pati po babae. 
Tignan niyo po ang sabi ng Bible sa Romans 16 verse 1. Ready? Go. I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a what? You see that? So it's not just men that can serve, it's not just men that can be selfless, but also ladies in the ministry, throughout the epistles of the Apostle Paul, he has chosen men to be examples, I mean, throughout the churches. So, ayun nga, kagaya ko na sinasabi ko, kasi ngayon mo yung church, mga churches ngayon, sobrang layo. The churches of today are getting too far away from the churches of the New Testament. And so our goal in this church, Society Bible Baptist Church of Manila, is we take our church near to the example of the New Testament churches. And how is that so? When you find the members selfless, servant-hearted, and supportive. Verse 1. I commend unto you Phoebe, our sister, which is a servant of the church which is at St. Korea. Verse 2. That ye receive her in the Lord. Are you there? Yeah. As becometh saints. And that ye, that ye assist her if she had need of you. For she hath been a what? Socorer of many. A supporter of many. A fellow laborer of many. Paul had these men very supportive. And with that, they become a comfort to the Apostle Paul. Hello? Hi. Church members, listen. Think of these three important things. Lord, am I selfless? Do I care? Do I care for the ministry? Do I care for Sunday worship? May mga karisyano, pag wala sila sa worship, parang okay lang. Hello? Pag may nakikita, tayo dapat yung mga members na nakatingin sa mga pangangailangan ng ating gawain, iniisip, pinipre-pray. Kasi pag kami-kami lang, pag ako lang, mas masarap pag sama-sama tayo. Ay, kapag nagsisiyar kayo, may mga nakikita kayong kulang dyan, ipag-pray nyo, baka kayo na lang ang maglagay kasi minsan nalilimutan. Hello? Minsan nalilimutan ng iba, wala pa lang tissue, wala pa lang ganito, wala pa lang ganyan, wala pa lang kaming ganito, wala pa lang kaming ganyan. O kaya, meron kang dapat ipag-pray. Lord, tulungan mo po si ganito, may sakit. I'm praying for my pastor, I'm praying for this member, I'm praying for this preacher, I'm praying for this brother. He has a problem, I might, I might not have a problem right now, but I have a brother and I have a sister who has a problem. And I need to pray for him, I need to pray for her. Are you with me? Selfless and caring, servant-hearted and Christ-like, supporter and home. Order. Amen? Be of, be a comfort to others. Be a blessing to others. And praise God for Timothy and Epaphroditus, not just them, Phoebe and other people of God in the New Testament that we find as examples and encouragements in the churches. Amen? So, lagi niyo tatandaan yan. Huwag tayong, huwag nating ahayaan ang iglesia ng Diyos na ito mapuno ng mga taong selfish. Of course, hindi naman mali na isipin natin yung mga pangailangan natin at mga personal na buhay. Pero habang sumasamba tayo sa Panginoon, let us pray na tayo'y maging selfless, tayo'y maging servant-hearted, willing to serve, willing to labor, at willing to support. Amen? Amen? So I hope and I pray that we will learn from the example of Timothy and Eba. Prodytus. Pati si Pibi at ang iba pang mga anak ng Diyos. Amen? Tumayo po tayo lahat at manalami.